pal Larry and we're actually working on Big Blue. We're actually in here in Big Blue. I got my other seat ripped out. This seat here I ripped out and I actually donated parts of my driver's seat into 796 to make it a good seat. Um, that was part of the videos that got deleted. I actually, um, what I what it was, was the mechanism, the gear mechanism that locks the back of the seat has been broken in mine. I've actually had a bungee cord that has been holding my seat back for like about a year. And um, I ripped that out and I ripped, uh, basically ripped the mechanism out of the, his seat. His seats were all ripped up. And um, my cushions were a good shape and made one good seat out of it and put it in his truck. So, right, so I actually drove back with no passenger seat. I took my passenger seat and put it in my driver's seat. I have a, I'm working on getting a new seat, a brand new chair. Um, I'm dealing with a company and stuff, and I'm actually trying to get them to donate it to my channel. Uh, I don't do that too much, but it's a pretty expensive one, and it's a seat I'm interested in, so... So I came back, I only had one seat in here, and I decided, since I was all cleaned out, I decided I was going to scrub uh, my truck out. And so I actually pulled that seat out too, and um, I kind of scrubbed the floor and got everything really clean and everything. Uh, but we're going to start working on replacing some leaks. I know one of the major leaks is right here. So I'll pull all these screws out. I know that my high and low lines are leaking so I already I've inspected this and found it so I'm gonna be replacing those I was supposed to do it out there in Maryland but I used the fittings that my boss got to actually repair 796 so had to get some more fittings. One more over here. There we Slide that up. Get it out of the way. And right here is our fittings. So basically, they're a quick disconnect. They just leak. I've cut them off and tried to get them and tried to reseal them. They just don't work. So I bought some new ones and I'll go grab them and put them in. These have got to be some of the smallest fittings I've ever seen. It takes a 5 16 in the center and the outside ones are 3 8 But they are compression. So they should seal them up and not have a worry about le leaking them again. I'm actually going to put my seat back in real quick, and um, I'm going to drop that back in, and then um, I'm going to fire the truck up, put air to everything, and make sure that there's no more leaks down in here.
Oh, we just got to hook up our airline back here. Well, guys, we got her aired up. The fan is running in the background, but there is no leaks here anymore. And, guys, I don't think there's another leak on this truck. I can't hear any leaking here. The fitting that was leaking out there. Let's see if I can find it here. It was right down here. Yeah. It's that double thing right there. But I don't, I don't see that one leaking here. Let me get some soapy water. Make sure before I close this up. One of the things is I used to have my refrigerator down here. And I'm moving it up here. Um, the reason why I'm moving it up here is because every time that I wanted to get food out, I had to get down on my hands and knees and go under this table to get it. Um, it was a big pain in the butt. So I moved it up here. Put it up here now. And um, I put a... Uh, Ketchup, fellow. And um, I moved, uh, I put a strap on it. And I'm also going to put a little bracket too, a little screw bracket thing that's going to hold it so it doesn't jiggle around going down the highway so it doesn't do that. Um, my TV, I can still have my TV mounted. It's just going to be over there all the time. Um, I'm not going to be able to lift my bed all the way up. If I slide my mattress down, I can lift it up pretty much pretty far. But I'm just kind of repositioning things up here. And then I'm going to put all the shelves that I took out from down there. There's like three shelves that pop into there. I'm going to put those back in there. And use that to uh, store stuff like food and everything else. And my little George Foreman. And I'm going to get a little slow cooker too. I lost some of my countertop by doing this. Um, but there's still enough here, you know, if I want to put my George Foreman up here or want to have my iPad up here or something. And then I'm going to put my PS4 down on the bottom shelf down there and run the wires up behind and hook up the TV so I can still sit here in bed. I can, if I want to play a PS4, I can still do it. Uh, the only thing I kind of wish is I would have put the strap the other way, but it's a big pain in the butt to get that strap in there. Um, so we're just going to leave it there. It's just a little corner of the TV. And it kind of cuts off. I think I cleaned my TV too. So that's one of the things I'm working on right now. <clears throat> I just got to put a little angle bracket in here that's going to mount this so that it doesn't move at all. And then um, there's a few other things, and I'll walk you guys through those when I cut start doing them. Well, guys, I am going to be installing a little hose here. I'm going to connect it onto this seat. And basically it's just a T and then it's going to have a little air blower thing here. Just so I can blow the floor out once in a while. If I want to clean the truck up, I can just blow it out and stuff. So I bought one of these. I think it was from the Pilot or something. This is a cheap one. And um, it is what it is. The nozzle, I don't know if it'll be any good or not. How long it'll last. But There we go. I got the nozzle on there. This is a cheap little nozzle, nothing special. So I'm just going to cut this airline that goes to the seat. Cut it right about there. And air is going to shoot all over the place and I'm going to see if I can connect it real quick. go let's put some air back in the truck and see if we got a leak well guys we fired the truck up we got full air in here now look for some air leaks looks good now we got a little nozzle 
stuff you know, at a truck stop or something or something and we want to clean out the truck, we can just go and blow the floor out, clean everything out. Cool. Uh, next, I think I'm going to put the shelves back in here. Well, I'm going to put these shelves back in. I'm trying to remember how they go. Take that one piece out to get this one in. Because they um, there was enough room. If I left ones on one side, it was just perfect for the refrigerator. It made it nice and snug. But with both of them on, I couldn't fit them. I couldn't fit the refrigerator in. I just put everything into a baggie and I put it with the shelf and the, and the face plate and I had it up on a shelf up there just like that keeps things from rolling out just like that and then the faceplate just snaps on just like so there now we got two shelves in there and if I need to I'm gonna put like probably food and stuff up in here, but I think I'm gonna get a little slow cooker. I don't think it'll fit. A slow cooker will fit from here to here, but you can just go like that, put it in there, and then snap that back into place and it keeps it from falling back out. So there we go. Got my shelves back in. All right, guys. Our next step is going to be to work on this windshield. Um, I am going to be using a product that I saw actually on a YouTube. I saw this, um, I'm always trying to figure out some way to get a windshield that the bugs don't stick to it so much, you know, because they do videoing out of it, you can see my camera mount there and stuff, and yeah, there's a lot of junk on my dash that usually isn't on there, I've just been cleaning stuff and throwing stuff up on my dash, but anyways, um, I saw this on Jay Leno's garage. He has a YouTube channel where he looks at old cars and stuff, talks about restoration and things. And he he says that this product works really well. He says he's been using it since he was a kid and he, it was kind of gone for a long time and stuff. And it works on chrome and everything. And it's called Quick Glow. And um, it's a uh, quick Quick Glow Original for Heavy Use. It's basically like a chrome cleaner, rust removal, aluminum, brass, copper, shower doors, sinks, tires, and more. 
Um, he said on there that it works really good for glass. It really keeps glass clear. And so I decided to order some up. And I ordered up, a, I hit the link on one of his videos and I ordered up a jar of this stuff. And what it is is that this is the actual original formula from way back when. And it kind of went away for a while, and some guy, I believe it's in Louisiana, he bought the recipe for this stuff, and he's making it just like what it used to be. And I guess he just, he makes this stuff in his garage or something, it's a small business deal, and he mixes this stuff up, and I guess it's like him and his daughter or something like this, they do this, and they fulfill these orders and stuff. And I sent him a message when I ordered it, there was comments on there, and I told him that I have a YouTube channel, and... I would like to use this on glass and try to get my, you know, semi-windshield a lot better and everything. And he sent me this. But then he also also sent me some other free samples of... This is the original. He also sent me a fine and an ultra fine. And so I'm going to put this on the windshield and buff this in. And I can tell you that I tried it yesterday. And I just did like a section right here. And I just did it by hand and everything, and it's really super smooth. It's real slick. And if I come over here, it's real sticky. That's the original windshield. So I can see how it would work. You know, things would just kind of go off of it and stuff, be easier to clean. So I'm going to do the rest of the windshield, but I'm actually going to use my little motorized buffer. I think that'll make it a lot faster. It's such a big windshield area. But basically what I do is, is you just go around and just feel for things that are protruding and stuff, little rocks, everything else. And I'm using a razor blade to get rid of them. There we go. That's the first coat put on there. Pretty simple. Um, they were talking to probably, you know, something that has been treated, probably three to four coats. Um, so, you know, I think what I'll do is I'll, you know, I bring my buffer and stuff with me. I think what I'll do is um, about once a week, I'll buff out the stuff. So I'm also going to do the side windows and the mirrors too. I'm going to do all that so that I can. Get these windows really nice. So I'm gonna jump on that. My foot is stuck. There we go. Finish that up and move on to the next project. Well, guys, uh, another thing that I'm doing is this headlight. Um, for some reason, it keeps blinking on and off. I have a feeling it's the plug. It's the same thing that happened over in the other. See that plug just fell right apart. Okay, you can see it's burning a little bit in there. It's the same thing that happened on the other side. And um, this plug is broke, you know, just from time over, just plastic and stuff. So I'm going to replace the plug and see if that fixes it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It blinks on and off. It's been doing it all the way home. So I'm going to um, uh, put a different plug on and um, and hook it up and see if that fixes it. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, I think I have some extra bulbs around.
Well, guys, it's this um, HID bulb. Um, the wiring, I didn't, I didn't like the way that plug looked. Anyways, this one's a brand new plug, so I'm happy I did that. But it does, the bulb doesn't work. And if you move these wires around, so I can get it to do it again. It's like really super dim. Did you hear that? It just cut it off. Right there. These wires in here are loose. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's real dim, dim lights. And the fan, every time you wiggle the wires, it cuts on and off. So that's been my problem. That's been the, the uh, XK Glow ones. These I got from the Petrol. I think these were the cheapest headlight, the LED headlights I had. So those are not going to be working. Where did I just put that? So I'm going to just put a halogen ball back in here for right now. I already tested it and it's working. See. So I'm just gonna put this in for right now until I can get these HID. That's gonna be my main goal right now is to get these uh, HID bulbs installed. I'm, my night vision is pretty bad. It's on this truck. It's it's um it's been getting worse and worse. Now that I got all the wiring figured out and everything, now I can go ahead and put those. I don't want. I don't want to put them in there because I, I seem to be blowing up LED bulbs, and it turned out it was the wiring, it was the plugs actually. So I don't have the time right now, but um, I will get to that as soon as I can. I'll take everything with me. Always make sure to put anti-seize on these little things. These things rust in here really bad. Um, we've actually, these things are over $15 just for this little bolt thing here. So, the 796, those are all rusted and the mechanic took it apart, just grabbed it and cranked on it and broke it instead of trying to, you know, PB blast it and everything, get it out. And so, it's very common. They rust in there. Um... But if you put anti-seize on them once in a while, then they'll be good to go. Mine were really bad. I had to work them back and forth and PB blast. And it took a lot to get them out to save them. But I got them out. <clears throat> um, but I got these little wing nut things. And I got new clips at the shop. And whenever there's a truck that has one, they can just put it on there and put these little wing nut deals on it. It's just a quarter 20. And then I put a big fender washer on there. So there we go. Headlight is good. Um... You can hear the fan running on the other LED. John used to pick on me that I have one yellow light and one white light. And it used to be the opposite way. The white light used to be over there and the yellow is over there. Um, and that was because I was going through all that wiring. So I had halogen bulbs over there because I was tired of burning out my LEDs. Now I'm back to the other way. <laughs> I got a halogen over here and an LED over there. But hey, it makes it legal. Alright guys, um, here's the last thing I'm going to do today. I have been looking around for a chrome accent. You know, a lot of times they're like stainless steel or whatever. But there's an accent panel that you can get that goes alongside the bottom of the truck here. This It replaces this. There's this bolts underneath here and this little fairing piece comes off of here. Um, you can get them just chrome or you can get them with lights and everything else. They're super expensive. I mean, I've seen them for $800. I've seen them up to $1,200. It's pretty crazy. I'm not going to spend that much money. I had an idea. Um, my old boss, he used to get this stuff. And basically what it is, is like a plastic. It's a real hard plastic. And it's got a real sticky adhesive on the back of it. And um, it's basically fake chrome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test strip. I want to make sure that it's going to stick on here before I go nuts. So I've cleaned this part, this, this little straight part here. I've cleaned this real good. 
and um, and then I've also taken brake cleaner and cleaned it all up really good and everything. And I actually see a little bit right here I want to get rid of. I was talking about that. Looks like a I missed a little spot there in the beginning. I want to make sure it has a really nice clean surface. like so and then basically all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna peel this off and stick it on here and I'm gonna do a little test on it and run it for a couple weeks and see if it sticks if it doesn't if it starts to peel off or whatever then I'll just peel it off and um, you know I'll apply some sticky residue on it and I'll just use a like a goo gone or something like that and just clean it up and no harm done. Well, got my heat gun. Basically now I'm just going to heat it up real good so that it activates blue real good and makes it bend. There we go. Now I know you're thinking, oh, that's hazy looking and everything else. Well, it's actually got a plastic covering on it. You pull that off. It's got some nice, nice chrome. I don't know. We're going to give it a test try. I'm just going to do this one section. I know it looks kind of goofy like this. <clears throat> but I'm going to do this, just this one section here. And just as a test for a couple weeks to see how it sticks on there. Make sure it doesn't start to peel off or nothing else before I go doing it all and everything. Because to get this back off, I'm going to have to heat it, peel it back off. And then there's going to be a bunch of blue residue on the, on the paint. And I'll have to do like Gooby Gone or something and get all that off of there. But I think it'll work. And then, what I'm thinking about doing is putting LED lights 
like every six or eight inches or something, going down the pan all the way down. I'm gonna do this all the way from the hood, all the way down and around. This stuff here for I bought it. I bought enough material to do the whole truck, and it was thirty-four dollars. I think it'll work. My boss used to use it on these old trucks that he used to have. Uh, my old boss from a time ago, and he used to get um, 68, 70, you know, 1970 cab over trucks, and he would use this stuff on certain stuff. And I tell you what, he'd take it to shows and everything else, his trucks, and he'd win first place prizes. So. I think it'll work. I think it'll be good stuff. I think it'll hold. And then especially <clears throat> putting lights in there, the lights will go through and it'll attach on the back side of it. So that'll help hold it. But I just want to see just by itself what'll happen for like two weeks. We'll do like a two week test and see how it turns out. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to kind of pack up all my stuff and I'm actually going to be getting out of here. Uh, I got to head someplace, and I will catch you guys later. I hope that everyone out there has themselves a great day, great night, as they're watching this here video. And if you're not, well, certainly just try it all over again tomorrow. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.